Good day, good day. Welcome to Athens. Our third day in Athens. We've spent a little bit of time exploring the city somewhat and now we're going to do the biggest tourist attraction in Greece. That is the Acropolis. And we're going to hike up to the Parthenon, which is way up high above the city. Saw it a little bit uh, yesterday. We went to the museum, which is just below, and there's some Oh, quite fine views looking back this direction. So we're here in the latter stages of winter, so it's not terribly crowded like you might find it come summertime. We're actually even in the off season as far as prices are concerned. 10 euros was the ticket. If you come in the summertime, it is twice that. It is up to 20 euros. So we take advantage of the discounted prices. See a map there with the different hikes and paths that you can go. This looks like the way down from the top. All right, let's go explore a little bit of ancient Greece. Now straight downhill is the Odeon of Herodes Atticus Theater. Built in Roman times, uh, said to seat close to 5,000 people. And it's actually still used for performances uh, even nowadays. I think Yanni one time played. There's a CD, Yanni at the Acropolis, and that's where he performed. So it used to have a roof over it. Obviously that's no longer, but it dates back to the second century. So almost 2,000 years old. A little bit of an idea of the climb. Pick it up, it's quite a bit of stairs, a little bit of switchback trails. And looking back into the park down that direction, it is a lot of people. As we climb a little bit higher, this is the main entrance gate to the Acropolis. This is the Propylia, which imagine back in the day that would have been like a covered archway heading in. On the left side was the former like art gallery, the painting room, where you would have found works of art, kind of like a gallery there. And you turn back around, you have a temple up here, and this is a temple to the goddess Athena. So this is Temple Athena Niki or Nike, as we like to think of, sporting sporting footwear. Uh, this was dating back to about 400 BC. And the climb will continue. Let's head into the Propylia, heading for the summit. All right, well, this is the Parthenon on top of the Acropolis in ancient Athens. The Parthenon dates back about 2,500 years ago. Amazingly, it only took about 10 years for them to construct the major portions of this. And you can see in the top left corner a little bit of a artwork carved into that corner above the uh, near column. Most of the carvings that were they were able to salvage are in the museum. Uh, some are on loan. I think the British Museum has quite a few of them and many of them have kind of eroded away or been destroyed over time. Uh, like I said, 2,500 years. Fact is, it is uh, the Parthenon is carved out of 220,000 kilograms of marble, about 100,000 pounds, and it's estimated in today's cost it would be over one billion dollars to build the structure. 
looking out towards the southeast side, you got the Hadrian's Gate, which is right at the end of that lane that runs straight ahead of us. And right behind that is the uh, Temple of Zeus. Or what's left of it. Back straight ahead is the Olympic Stadium, which is the first modern Olympics in the late 1800s. That's where that was hosted. And you get a nice little pan of this side of Athens. Did not really appreciate how large Athens is. Athens, Greece. So just across from the Acropolis and the Parthenon is a park, which you just saw the monument that's on top of the hill that originated back to the second century AD. We got this little pathway here that goes through a nice little green area. Gorgeous to see how green it is here in the latter stages of the winter. And should pop us to a nice overlook towards the Aegean Sea and the cruise port Piraeus. And also, another little panoramic look over the southwest side of Athens. 68 degrees Fahrenheit today, about 21 Celsius. A little bit breezy up here on the hill, but good walking around weather. And a rain advisory for this evening but hopefully just overnight so got a nice mix of rocky pathway and nice green shrubbery and grass and things such as that Good day, good day. We continue on here in Athens. We're looking at the Hadrian's Gate. Right here next to the city center. You can even see the Acropolis just behind. Off to the top left there, or middle left. And Hadrian's Gate will put you down next to the Temple of Olympian Zeus. Which is right here. There's a fee to go into here. I'm not certain. I think it may be 10 euros where you can, looks like you can walk around. Quite a bit of construction ongoing with the scaffolding up around a few of the columns there. After a rainy overnight and some storms that were pretty loud with the thunder, has cleared out nicely today. We had a high of about 60 degrees, about 15 Celsius. No wind, fortunately, and should be scattered clouds but the majority of the day sunshine so we're going to walk over to the olympic stadium which is the first place that the modern olympics took place back in the 1800s and there's a stadium that seats tens of thousands of people that we can go over and get a nice view of so let's do that we'll get out of the way of the tour group we're going to get a nice walk through the park area in the forest leave us the national park here in athens and head to 
Olympic Stadium and check it out. Coming back for more fans. So not at all far from Hadrian's Gate and Olympian Zeus's area, just probably 10 minutes away, we are in the Athens National Garden. I have said it many times in Europe, it's always impressive just how close to the city you can get out and explore and find yourself in nature, in the woods, in the park, and here the National Garden. And it actually will take us over towards the Olympic Stadium. There's the Exhibition Hall. Right around the corner from us. We walked through there a couple of days ago. They had a wine tasting uh, festival set up next to it. And then there was some sort of convention going on. It's like a little playground area down here. And we're going to cut up here and head through the rest of the National Gardens to get to the Olympic Stadium just moments ahead. It's not quite spring yet, but it feels spring-like. And those birds that migrated south for the winter, they're making their way back into Athens. From the stadium, coming up. So it was in 1896 that Athens hosted the very first modern day Olympics. Now the Olympics themselves go back over 2000 years, but the Olympics as we know it today, hosted every fourth year, began in 1896 and right here. If you can make out the Olympic rings, the intertwined circles above the back edge of the stadium, and the stadium itself is said to seat 80,000 people. And we think that some of the big mega stadium complexes today that hold 65, 75,000, this has a larger capacity than that. Right behind it, you see the trees that kind of go above the outer edge, top layer of the stadium. That is also part of the park. And not very crowded down here. Of course, we are in winter time. You would say within a few months when summer's here, the museum shop will be busy and the stadium will be filled with many, many visitors. And even there, you can still see the Acropolis and the Parthenon. I overheard a tour guide yesterday explain to her little group, somebody asked no skyscrapers here in Athens and the answer was they cannot block any views up to the Acropolis. Well, that was very interesting. All right, we'll continue on here in Athens. A short tram ride from Athens takes us to Kalamaki Beach. It's a rather shelly type beach, but the weather is quite pleasant. A few folks out here enjoying late winter seaside. The Aegean Sea, just outside of Athens, Kalamaki Beach. But 
just to let it set. Let it sit again. 